and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. Today we're going to make an absolutely delicious dish. This is a savoury one and really great for a quick and easy winter meal because you can have it warm or a summer meal because you can have it cool. We're going to make a pumpkin soup with leek and a pine nut cream with thyme. Absolutely delicious. Such a simple recipe as usual. Take the blender of your Optimum 9900, 9400 or 9200 and use the jug to place in one cup of pine nuts. These pine nuts have been soaked for a few hours so they're nice and soft and let me tell you they taste mm, great when they're, they're soaked like that. Pop them straight into the blender jug with a little bit of water. We've got about a quarter of a cup of filtered water here. We're going to pop a pinch of Celtic sea salt straight in there. A couple of extra pinches I really quite like that salty taste and people get really worried about using salt but it's actually great the Celtic sea salt. Table salt on the other hand not so good but the, it has uh, anti-caking agents which are often carcinogens but the Celtic sea salt has the same chemical structure as embryotic fluid so it's an excellent salt for you to be using. I popped in a little dash of white pepper in there. Oops. Put the lid on safely. We're going to put in two tablespoons of lemon juice. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, just roll the lemon and one full lemon is about two tablespoons. So just squeeze that out straight into your jug. It's the lemon that makes the nut cheeses taste so good and so cheesy in the end. But make sure you don't get the bits of pulp in there, just the juice. So soaking, uh, squeezing that one all the way out. And that is it. We're going to pop that straight onto the blender, uh, put the lid on securely in place. We may or may not need to use the tamper, so I've got it on hand and I've got the lid plug in place today. We're going to turn it on low, flick it on. So you'll see the Optimum 9900 is such a powerful blender that I didn't even need to turn it all the way up onto high. Be really aware of that with your Optimum blenders. Only use the amount of power that, that you need to get blending. If you turn the blender up too high, you might get a bubble underneath the food and that will stop the food mixing correctly. So I turned it up probably to about seven or eight. I couldn't see from over here, but I didn't turn it up all of the way and I blended it until it was nice and smooth. I'm gonna give it a quick taste. That will be our pine nut cheese. It's really, really, really good. Popping that one aside to use as a topping in just a minute. And we're gonna go ahead and use a separate jug. You can wash yours if you only have one, but it's always good to have two on hand. If you wanna get a second jug or if you wanna order your Optimum 9900 blender, just go down below to the details section and you'll be able to click through to um, the local foodie site to you. So we have one in AU, in NZ, and in the UK now. So, next recipe, easy as. Popping in three cups, 750 mils approximately, of freshly squeezed carrot juice. So I just pop that through my juicer. And I'm gonna pop in about three quarters of a cup. This is probably a little bit extra, whoopsie, of, oh look, let's put it all in, shall we? Of uh, beet, uh, pumpkin there. Now you can use butternut pumpkin. The original recipe uses butternut pumpkin, but I actually prefer the sweet flavor of Jap pumpkin or the correct name now is Kent pumpkin. So I've popped that in there. About a quarter of a cup of leeks um, to pop straight in. If you like, you can dehydrate the leeks for a couple of hours before you use them. and That gives them an even stronger and richer flavor. I'm gonna pop a pinch of the Celtic sea salt in. This time we're gonna use the black pepper. And because of the blender is so powerful, all we need to do is pop in a couple of the actual peppercorns. The last thing that I'm gonna pop in here is some allspice. So sometimes in the US it's called pumpkin pie spice, but we call it allspice here in Australia. We don't need too much, I'm just gonna pop in two little um, allspice kernels, look at those tiny little ones, um, or you could use about an eighth to a, a quarter of a teaspoon in there. Pop it all in, I'm going to pop in about a teaspoon of fresh thyme, we'll save this one for decorating the bowl a little bit later, and that's all we need to do. We're going to use the avocado in just a second. First things first, lid on and blend until smooth. Now this time I will turn it all the way up to high and I'll probably blend for about three or four minutes because this soup is going to come out nice and warm for us. All right. Okay, lid plug in place and this time we'll get blending. Three to five minutes max.
you'll feel after a couple of minutes in a high speed blender like this one that the temperature of the ingredients go up. It goes up about 10 degrees per minute. So blending for about three to five minutes at maximum will still ensure that the food is warm but counted as raw because you're not going over that 40 to 46 degrees C that we want to stay under. So that's all blended. We're just going to quickly throw in three quarters of an avocado to finish off. It doesn't need blending all the way. So I've cut the avocado in half. You can remove the seed by carefully putting your knife in there and removing it, tossing that carefully away. Remember that you can't put avocado skins or avocado seeds in your compost if you have chickens because avocado is toxic to chickens. Little fact for you. Use the back of your spoon to remove the avocado out. It'll stop the this, this soup being so frothy by putting that fat in there. Mm. And so far, tastes great. I'm gonna pop in just a little bit more pepper, a little bit more Celtic sea salt, and just a tiny bit more of the allspice to give it a little bit more flavor. So you can adjust the recipe ingredients to suit your taste. Popping the lid on, blend again for about 60 seconds and we're all done. Actually, that wasn't even 60 seconds, maybe 20. You can see that it's nice and warm. It's often steam coming off the top. We're gonna to pour it into a big soup bowl. You can see a little bit of the steam there. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but I can see it. We're gonna finish it off with, oh, don't let us forget our pine nut cream. We'll take a nice big dollop of that on the top of our soup. There we go, maybe two dollops. Delicious. Some for me too. And a little bit of thyme, and you can serve it up. Delicious, easy, quick soup, warm in winter, cool in summer, very, very tasty and very, very good for you. Lots of colourful nutrients in there and a little bit of fat so that you feel satiety for a few hours after you've eaten your meal. Ciao for now.